Welcome, FNUSA57 here. In today's video, I will be showing you how to get five achievements in the same spot relatively quickly on Far Cry 4. Now, I know this game is an older game and there's already been guides made, but I was drastically surprised by the very low percentage unlock rate for several of these achievements when you can do them relatively easily and I found one spot on the map that allows you to do them all pretty much within an hour at the most and that's just depending on how much of a hard time the game itself gives you. So for anyone who's still looking to do these achievements, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get the Reign of Death achievement, kill 30 enemies with mortar rounds, campaign only. The Tusker achievement, kill 30 enemies with an elephant, campaign only. The Drive-By achievement, kill 25 enemies while shooting and driving. The Flame-On achievement, kill 50 enemies with fire. And the Roadkill achievement, where you run over 25 people. Now, all of these achievements are campaign only. They are also host-locked, so you have to do this in your world. Uh, at least that has been my experience. Now, Reign of Death, there's a couple spots that you can get it. Tusker, there's a couple spots that you can get it. Uh, Drive-by and roadkill, you would possibly get during the course of playing through the entire game, but you could miss them depending on how much driving you did. And the flame-on achievement where you have to kill 50 enemies with fire, a lot of times... Uh, People weren't sure exactly, and I wasn't sure myself exactly what was counting, but I can confirm without a shadow of a doubt that the flame arrows do work for this achievement. So moving on from there, if I go and show you the achievements real quick under the unlock category, you'll see that they are a relatively low percentage, uh, the three that are diamond, and that just amazed me for the fact that this game has been out as long as it has. So I figured, well, maybe people just didn't have these. Now, the Tusker achievement is going to require you to have one skill, so you can't do this until you level up at least a couple times, but that is relatively easy to do. Once you get a couple skill points, you're going to need the Elephant Rider skill, which is this skill right here under the elephant tree. It's the very first one. It allows you to ride elephants. That's to get the Tusker achievement. And then you will need the ability under crafting where you're going to be able to have your incendiary arrows. So just keep that in mind that as long as you have incendiary arrows, it's not a must have, but it makes it a lot easier for doing this. Next up, very close to where you start on the map without spoiling the story for you, but you're going to start pretty much right here in the Banneper Village, and just to the south, you will encounter this Kara T Terraces. I'm not sure if I pronounced that name correctly, but we'll just call it the T Terraces, and this is the outpost that you want. It's an easy outpost to take over. You can fast travel back there. And then once you are here, what you want to do is you want to go to this outpost master. Now make sure before you do that, that you have your incendiary arrows fully stocked, Molotov cocktails work, and so do like the flamethrower weapons. I would also recommend having a machine pistol or if you could get the M79 to go in your sidearm slot, you could use that. Now, you will have to do this several times, but you're going to want to go into the Outpost Master. And I'd recommend having body armor and a few healing syringes on you. If your game glitches like this, which happens a lot, you have to save and quit the game and then reload it. Don't worry, it's not going to screw up the progress, but do keep in mind that the achievement trackers on this game, well, the actual Microsoft tracker doesn't work. Then go ahead and load your game back up. It will put you either inside the building and you'll have to go back out the door or it will put you right next to this pile of trash that allows you to do the outpost master again. So you can do this pretty much any level. If it loads in correctly, it's going to load in like this. The weapon you have equipped will vary. And you will notice that right down here to my right is an elephant spawn. 
So if you have the Elephant Rider perk, you can go ahead and walk up to this elephant, press and hold X, and ride it. Now you'll see a couple different options when you do ride it. I recommend you just stay crouched here. Uh, there's going to be multiple enemies inside the building. One on that mortar, which obviously if you need the mortar kills, there you go for that. Another one right there. One below us on the terrace. And uh, another one hidden behind that rock on the right hand side. So if you're going for your elephant rider uh, kills, that's super easy. Before you alert the enemies, you want to make sure that you get on your elephant. Now, they can kill the elephant, so keep that in mind. You can also use your weapon while on the back of the elephant. I don't recommend doing that because the kill will not count. So if you click the left stick when riding an elephant, you do the elephant charge, and it'll pop up with elephant kill when you charge an enemy. The other way to do it is basically like a, uh, a close range attack by clicking the right stick where you just knock them up if they are right next to the elephant. So that's super easy to do. Charge in there. Don't kill all the enemies. Let them trigger the alarm. And this is where you're going to get your mortar kills, also your um, driving and shooting kills, running over people kills, and it'll help with the elephant kills and incendiary kills. So moving forward for the incendiary kills because that's basically the same. Go ahead and equip your incendiary arrows. And what you want to do at this point, you're going to trigger the alarm. As long as you use the incendiary arrow and you shoot next to the enemy, do not shoot the enemy itself with the incendiary arrow. I can confirm that the incendiary arrow does count. So go ahead and use your incendiary arrows or molotovs if that's what you need to eradicate these enemies. Once you have them all eradicated, you'll notice this timer here counting down on the reinforcements or the timer bar, I should say. And then the reinforcements are always gonna come down the same path. So if you need your mortar kills, jump up here on the mortar. You're gonna aim at that road. Go ahead and scope in. You're gonna wanna wait till the trucks get about to this point and then fire the mortar it'll take one or two mortar rounds because it is an air burst mortar and you'll blow them all up now there's three guys in each of these trucks here each truck three enemies so you get about six mortar kills every time you do that you can also use the mortar and try and hit the rest of the guards around the outpost but that can be more difficult to do now, when you don't need your mortar kills, you're going to repeat the same process, except you're going to get in to the driver's seat of the vehicle. So we'll do this real quick. Now, remember, they're going to go up on top of that mortar, and they'll try and kill you with the mortar, so do keep that in mind. Eventually, you're going to clear the outpost, so it'll give you the whole outpost master clear. At this point, you're simply going to restart and do it again. Uh, very easy, very boring. If you get lucky, you can get a passenger car that comes by and you could commandeer that to use that for the two driving related achievements so you don't have to go through this screen as much. But uh, just keep doing that and I'm going to show you here in a second what you want to do to get the enemy vehicle because you can take the enemy vehicle away as opposed to having to wait for the random option of finding a civilian vehicle or golden path vehicle. So this time it spawned me right outside. I'm going to restart that. If you get lucky, you don't spawn under the map. If you get unlucky like I am, you spawn under the map. It can happen to you multiple times in a row. I don't know why it does it. It's happened to myself and my friends that are trying to do the achievements. It's just a really annoying bug. If it happens to me again, I'll edit out till the next part, but I'm going to show you the area that I hid in here to commandeer the enemy vehicle, and then you can usually get about six to seven kills relatively easily. So for this one, if uh, these are the last two things that you need, it's going to be a little bit different. We want to get rid of the guy that is on the mortar, and then we want to be spotted. 
So I'm just gonna run up past that dude and be like, hey bro, what's going on? Then I'm gonna run away. He's gonna go call in the mortar. Or not mortar, but call in reinforcements at the alarm. Usually get rid of that dude, because he can hit you. And then I hang out right around here on the rock. You're close enough that they won't hit you with the mortar. And they don't really come around this front wall very often. So you can pretty much just sit here. Even if they do throw grenades at you, 9 times out of 10, they won't throw them over this wall. Also, I should mention, don't worry about using your healing items or grenades or whatever you need, like your molotovs and incendiary arrows. As you can see, all of them are restocked because I was restarting this, so none of my ammunition or healing items was actually consumed. Therefore, you don't have to worry about going through a crap load of money and ammo doing this in the open world, even though you could do it in the open world. So... We're gonna let those enemies come. And now, remember, all you need is the vehicle. So while they are all over there, we're gonna go ahead and get this vehicle, since they casually leave it undefended. Pick up one of their trucks, and now you can do your achievement for running over the enemies, like so. Or you can also do the achievement for shooting the enemies. Now, I should mention the achievement for shooting the enemies while driving. The only thing is you have to be in the driver's seat. So park next to the mortar. This way they can't shoot you. And then you can either blind fire with your machine pistol or you can actually aim down the sights. Running over the enemies is a lot more annoying because the driving controls are shit for this game but you pretty much just keep driving back and forth and you'll be able to run over all of these enemies sooner or later that's exactly how i got the achievements you can see on my profile that i unlocked them about an hour ago as you need to use your healing syringe and you'll be good to go they can take a bit of damage and they will try to hit you with the mortar so just keep that in mind but you usually get them in the middle of the road and then just keep running them over it also counts if you want to do that achievement in the open world if you run over civilians or teammates, but then you get negative karma points, so I wouldn't recommend that. It also helps if you have focused driving where vehicles can take more damage before needing repairs, and if you have the healing syringe level 2, as well as the whole uh, capable strength and forceful strength so that you have four segments of health and a healing syringe will refill four segments of health because while trying to run over these enemies you're gonna take a fair amount of damage hopefully this video helped you if you have any questions comments anything like that feel free to ask i will do my best to answer them for you if you enjoyed the video of course don't forget to like and subscribe for more content until next time stay frosty